Welcome to Paul's News on the Go, brought to you by the Agricultural Development Bank. Health workers in various hospitals in Accra are beginning to feel the pressure of providing care to the increasing number of patients as some junior nurses and midwives begin their indefinite strike today, February 3, 2016, over unpaid salaries. According to the Coalition of Unpaid Nurses and Midwives, numbering around 7,000, in spite of roundtable discussions, promises and reassurances by the Ministry of Employment and Labour Relations to have all of them paid by December 2015, only 30% of its members have been paid so far. Controversial Ghanaian actor John Dumelo has revealed that he has received threatening messages following his claim that the flag bearer of the main opposition New Patriotic Party, Nana Akufuado, cannot be Ghana's president. I keep on receiving threatening messages from anonymous persons. They are threatening my life. So many things for making a statement. But I give everything to God. They are issuing the threats on social media, anonymous phone calls and things, Dumelo said in an interview. Prices of phones and mobile money transactions are set to go up as the Mobile Money Merchants Association are getting ready to increase the price of recharge cards by 10% starting today, Wednesday, February 3. It is however unclear whether recharge card and mobile money vendors are allowed to charge higher prices than stipulated on its scratch cards. Aston Villa forward Jordan Ayew has apologized for getting sent off in Tuesday's night game against West Ham United. The 24-year-old was issued with a straight red card in the 16th minute of the match for elbowing around Cresswell. Villa, who are languishing at the bottom of the Premier League table, went on to suffer a 2-0 defeat, their seventh league loss of the season. And that was your Paul's News on the Go, brought to you by...